So, um, yeah, I haven't done these videos in a minute. So, uh, um, you know, this video or this topic has been on my mind for the past, I don't know, maybe a month, month and a half. But uh, it's like the elephant in the room that no one wants to talk about. And uh, it's depression. And uh, I just, uh, you know, I consider myself to be a healer and an empath. So I feel uh, I, I, I can sense when things are off in others and really in myself, especially recently. And um, I see, I feel like I, recently I've been questioning and just looking at myself and what I've been going through. And I'm like, I asked myself, am I depressed? And it amazes me because I'm bringing awareness around even the feelings of expressing depression. And it, it's almost like depression is this, uh, this like thing that, oh my God, you're depressed. It's almost like, think of the worst thing you could be in this country and that's it. It's like, it's uh, sometimes I feel it's almost like being black in this country. Like, you know, you, you experience racism, but most people will tell you like, uh, that's not really happening. Like, yeah, actually it is. It's, that's racist. Same thing with depression. Like, ah, you're not depressed, man. Go uh, have a couple beers. And, uh, you know, um, I don't know, make yourself happy and you'll be fine. Like, no, nah, something's up, man. Like, I'm not feeling myself. I'm tired. And, and, uh, and it's been resonating more with me, especially as I... Uh, as I go through my transition and I'm 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 coming up up against these like things where I'm tired, I'm like I lose I'm losing interest in some things and it's like holy cow, what the heck is going on, man? And um and I started looking at it, I was like, wow, I mean I could be depressed. And I was like, okay, this is what it feels like. Like where is this coming from? And then like I started looking at just like it was a feeling of hope, a feeling of like low self-worth and a feeling of like I'm not enough or I'm not meeting these standards. So his, as, as I started to come to these realizations, it's like things were laying themselves out in front of me, like conversations, videos, documentaries. And, um, you know, I was having a conversation with Elijah the other day and he was like, daddy, man, like we were throwing these air darts, um, these darts outside. And he was, he started getting like, uh, he's like, oh, you're going to start getting upset. And I was like, why? He was like, oh, you know, he's like, you put a lot of pressure on me to do these boy things. And, you know, sometimes I just like to play with princesses and, and like, I like to just like do crafts. And I'm like, oh, junk. Like, I didn't realize that this was a gender based thing, but I, I, I just wanted just to have fun. I was like, what are some things you want to do? So I got to start to talk to him about that. And I started realizing like, wow, there's these, there are these blocks that we put ourselves in or well, that society is putting us in, like, and I'm speaking from a male perspective, a black male perspective, like, you know, okay, I should have certain things or I should be a certain way. And I feel like that's something that's triggering a lot of men recently. And it could be just my judgment or my projection and just my shit. And that's cool. I accept that. But I feel like in this society, it's like uh, there's like this this block box of what a man should be. And I feel like um, if we're not fulfilling that, then it's not it. And for me specifically, like around not having my job and like figuring out the entrepreneurial side and like taking some lumps and and feeling like inadequate, like, oh, my God, am I going to be able to provide? And this stuff comes up and it's fucking real. So um, what how, what my judgment in is, is, is that. Some men may feel like, I don't know if I'm enough. And I feel, and, and I think that contributes to some suicides. And, and here I'm even playing small, like that contributes to suicides. People feeling like they can't fit in a box or they're not enough. You know what? Blah. Blah. Men are three and a half times more likely to commit suicide than women. And when I heard about Chris Cornell, man, that hit me because I dig that dude, man. I really dig that dude. And I feel his music ever since he was a sound garden. It's like, I feel you, dude. So when he left us and he took his life, I was like, what the hell? And then my sister was telling me about someone else that she knows that took their lives as well. And I said, I get, I can get it. I can dig it, man. Like when, we're, when we feel like we got to fit in a box, 
shit gets freaking really hectic and sometimes we don't know how to freaking deal with it. So like here I am, I'm in my cave and this is where I've been in the, in my, when I'm in my depression state. And one of the things like as I wrap this up for us to get out of this space, just consider that maybe this space that we're in is a depression, this depression state because we're shifting the old cells that we are freaking moving out of are bringing in these new cells. So all of a sudden there's light. So that light, maybe we don't know how to deal with it. So we start to get ourselves up and we start to fumble around in the darkness and we start to chase this freaking light. All of a sudden, as we come, start to come out of this, fumble around, fumble around in the darkness some more, and then we start to find a door, a pathway, our path. Sometimes there's obstacles. Sometimes we feel like we want to quit. And guess what? Like even when we feel like we got the door, we still don't got it. And then guess what? There's even more darkness. That shit is scary, man. Scary. I'd be depressing that shit too. And I have been. And I, in times I feel like I still am. But we got to muscle through the darkness because you see there's a crack of light. A crack of light right there, I said. Look, now I'm going to fumble through. <sighs> Set it off, set it off now, children. Set it off. I ground, I'm in light, I got a new space. Even this is scary. That can lead to depression, not knowing where we fit in in this big, vast place called life. But listen, as I wrap this up here, because I've been on this for a minute, if you're following, thanks. And if this is resonating with you, I feel you, I get you. Get help. Talk to somebody. Like, listen, I've told people my thoughts and it was uncomfortable. But, you know, it was good to know that I had someone there that wasn't going to judge me. And if you feel like you don't know who you could talk to, guess what? You could talk to me. I'll take that shit on because I don't want you to feel like you're alone. Because you're not. You're not. You're not. So, listen. You matter. We matter. This game is just getting started. We're shifting, and it's okay. Enjoy the day. Enjoy the summer if I don't get to do another video before that time, before the end of the summer. But thanks for tuning in. More stuff coming.